What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're going to be going over the AI Suite 2 on the Rampage 4 Formula motherboard. Now the AI Suite comes with pretty much every Asus motherboard so a lot of these things are going to be the same but you know depending on the features of your motherboard and what processor you have things are going to be a little bit different but we're going to go ahead and start here and when you open the AI Suite 2 you have this little toolbar here and this has all of your stuff in it so if we click on tool here we can go to Turbo V Evo and what this does is this is where you can monitor all your settings and also change your settings too so you know you can change your your frequency, your V-core, your voltages, all that stuff. So you can easily overclock your system right here within Windows. Um, you know, you can see all of your voltages here and you can easily change them. Uh, your CPU ratio, you can change that as well. And your CPU strap. So this is Sandy Bridge Extreme. So of course you can move your CPU strap up. Um, and then there's the CPU level up, and this is instant overclocking depending on the different processor you have. So on our processor, we can go up to 4.017 gigahertz, 4.125 gigahertz, and 4.250 gigahertz. Um, it's very easy, especially for people who are, you know don't know that much about overclocking. You just hit the start button, and you're pretty much good to go. Um, next up, we have the Digi Plus power control, and this is all the power control for both your DRAM. Um, and CPU power and this is all a lot of stuff you know a lot of people don't really know what this stuff does and one, one thing I really like so you know you go over here and this will tell you which each value does and you know what it's actually going to do for your system I really like that um, you can also go in here and set the CPU phase power control and the power duty um, and if we go back into the DRAM here, you can see all the settings there as well. Again, they tell you exactly which each one does. So if you're in here, you may not know which each, you know, what this type of stuff does. You can change that and it will actually tell you what you're actually doing. Going into EPU, this is kind of your power saving type stuff. Um, we're set on high performance. You can do max power saving or set it to auto. Um, lets you know how much CO2 emissions you have reduced. Um, all that kind of stuff. You can... Um, also see your CPU power usage right here, how many watts we are currently using. And of course, you click over here and you have your sensor, which has all of your stuff right there. Fan Expert. Fan Expert is actually pretty cool. I really like it. Um, what it allows you to do is set uh, a setting for your fan. So, you know, if... You if your temperature of your CPU is not that hot, you know, it's going to run low just so one, it's going to save power, two, it's not going to be as noisy. As your CPU increases, the, you know, your fan is going to get much, much uh, faster. You can do the same thing with your chassis fans as well um, based on, you know, the fan speed and temperature here. And there's different settings. You know, you can do standard, silent, turbo. You can have your, you can set your own as well and you can completely disable it. Um, you know, it's really cool. Again, all the fans that are connected to the motherboard and your CPU fan. So just makes it pretty cool and allows you to really fine tune your fans on your system. Okay, going into the probe, this is where you can monitor as well as set thresholds for all of your sensors. So for all of your voltages, for all of your temperatures, fan speeds, all that stuff, you can set all your thresholds and uh, monitor pretty much everything. Um, you can also set your cycle detection. So if you don't want to checking, you know, temperatures every five seconds, you can, you know, go all the way up to 120 seconds, or you can bring it all the way down to one second. Um, of course, you can change between Celsius and Fahrenheit as well. And of course, you have in a little alert log here, you can see everything that might have gone wrong or would have given you an alert um, pretty much right there. Sensor recorder is actually really cool. It allows you to record all of the sensors um, in this nice little graph here. It's actually pretty cool. kind of lets you know what everything is doing. It makes it look really cool. You can do it for voltages, temperatures, and fan speed. You also have your history uh, record. So you can say I want to monitor my system for an hour. What I can do is, you know, set this, uh, you know, my record interval, my duration, which would be one hour, and then I hit start recording, and it's going to record all those values right here in this nice graph. Moving on, we have AI Charger. Uh, with USB 3.0, um, it allows you to charge devices faster. So it's things like you know your tablet, your mobile phone, USB devices. You can enable this to charge those devices much faster. And we have USB 3.0 Boost. So if you're using a USB 3.0 device, ASUS has found a way to make it go much faster than if you're just normally plugging it in. Um, what it does is, you know, you're going to plug in your device, you're going to remount it using this software, and it's going to go much, much faster. 
that's pretty much it for all of your tools. You can go to the monitor here, and of course you can see your sensors over here and your CPU frequency right here. And it shows you all cores, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and it shows the usages as well. So you can you know cycle through all of your cores and you can see the usage right there. Update, um, it's pretty simple. It is just, you know, you can update your BIOS, uh, whether it's from a file, the internet, uh, Asus is FTP. It makes, they make it really easy to do. Um, the only thing that's really kind of weird about it within the software, it takes a little bit to load up as you can see right there. Um, let you know the name of the BIOS, what version you are using, the release date. Um, of course, and again, you get the BIOS from the internet, um, update it from the internet, download it from the internet, and update BIOS from the file. You can also update your logo that shows up when you turn on the system. System information here, which is going to take a second to load, pretty much just shows you all of you know, your information. So you can see everything on the motherboard and our BIOS. Go into the CPU here and you can see, you know, we're running an Intel uh, Core i7, 3930K, all that stuff. Um, and then your SPD, of course, is for your memory. You can check out the different memory slots. I'm pretty sure that is basically it. Um, and then, of course, at the end here, you have your settings. So if you don't want any of these tools to show up here for whatever reason, you don't have to have them in here. You know, you can just completely deselect them, and they won't show up here again. Um, and if you ever want them back, you can just go in the settings and reapply. Mm -hmm.